Hi, it's Richard Moore from Racing Profits Guides, and today we're interviewing Roderick Duncan, Clerk of the Course for Southern Race Course. Now then, Roderick, how are you? Hi, good, good. Yeah, yeah. always good when the sun shines. <laughs> sun shining at last, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So how long have you been clerk here? I've been four, four years now, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Of course, yeah. yeah. And what changes have you seen over those t that time? Uh, not, not, not a great many. Um, we've uh, replaced odd parts of the all-weather track, but apart from that, uh, uh, there's not been a great, de great deal of change. Oh, and I know you joined just after the flood. Was it 2007? 2008, I came. The, flood, the, track, the course flooded in 2007, and uh, there was quite a lot of redevelopment over over that period. And, and did you have and, to relay uh, a lot of the track then, or most was... most of the track was then relayed, uh, all the home straight, and uh, best part of the back straight, um, all the bend into the home straight. That wasn't, but that has been replaced since. That was. Uh, replaced in 2010 if memory serves me correct. Okay and then we'll just talk a bit about the all-weather tracks obviously uh, the majority of the races through the year are on the all-weather. Yeah there's, there's a, a fair portion all the flat racing through the winters on the all-weather and that's where most of our most of our program is. Yeah. And how many a year would you say you have on the all-weather? Uh, well we have six uh, this year we originally programmed 63 meetings uh, 14 of those were turf fixtures are uh, over fences and the rest are all weather fixtures. We've actually had now two additional weather fixtures. Mm. The surface here is fibre sand. How do you think that differs from poly track on, used on the other three all weather tracks? The fibre sands uh, basically I think are fairly what it says on the box. The, the, the poly tracks have, have polymers in it and, and, and wax coating. Mm. The fibre sands just fibre and sand. Um, fibre sand you through the winter months, basically you, you bash hell out of it and make it have the race in it. It, it just requires a little bit of work. Yeah. In the summer, it dries out a bit, and then we have to water and uh, and uh, to try and reduce the the kickback. Some jockeys say that the kickback is a bit more severe on the uh, on the fibre sand than it is on the poly tracks. Yeah. Uh, it's a, it's just a matter of opinion. And just to explain a little bit what kickback means for people who don't know what it is. Well, it's when, when, when the horse is in front are, uh, are kicking up the sand in the faces, if you like, of the, the horses that are following. Yeah. And does that make it a lot harder for the horses behind then? Is it breathing it, or...? It's, it's not, I don't, not breathing so much, but they don't, it's, it's like anything, you know, if I throw a bit of sand in your face, you wouldn't like it. And, <laughs> and, and I think horses, some horses tolerate it, others, others, others don't. So do you think there's any draw bias at all on the track or do you think it's quite a fair track? Uh, I believe it's it, it's a fair track. I mean, the statisticians will argue with me, but but a lot of it uh, revolves around how shrewd your jockey is. Yeah. Um, there's a little bit of common sense involved. I mean, uh, you've seen the, whole, the rolls pressing the track before in between the races. Yeah. Uh, the heaviest heaviest thing on the track's the tractor, and you know, jockey can pick the tractor wheelings out. He might he might find a, a little bit better pace there. Yeah, you said they actually look for where the tractor's wheels have been because that will compress the sand slightly more. There are there are one or two jockeys that are a bit cute, and uh, you need to keep an eye on them. You'll find that they'll 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 take a line, sort of two yards off the off the inside rail where the tractor's been passing, and uh, mm. they've recognised that, that that's a little bit quicker. Yeah. And what about in the in the damp and the wet? Do you find it gets uh, a bit faster the, the, the sand? The fibre sand needs moisture. I mean, it 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 it. it, it Whereas the poly tracks have a, have a wax that binds their surface, the fibre sand needs more moisture to bind that. Mm. So the wetter it gets, usually the quicker it gets, the, the, the harder it will come together. Um, that's, that's the guiding rule. And in the winter when, we're, when, when there's a lot of frost about, obviously we can't then afford it to get wet. We don't want it wet. So we're, we're working it through the night. It will dry out and then it does become slower then. Usually, usually we publish when we've been working it through the night so everybody knows and they should expect a slightly slower surface then. And uh, you talk about working it through the night, you mean you've been raking it through the night and rolling it through the night? What, what happens in the winter, we try, we try very not to, to, to overwork the surface through the summer because as I say we want it to maintain, maintain the moisture content as that keeps it together. But through the winter, we, we to avoid it freezing, we actually keep the keep the surface moving for, if necessary, 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So it, we go on with discs and power harrows. Right. We try to limit that in the summer, and we'd only we'd only work that when it when it's been wet. If we, if uh, just because it'll go back down, 
um, and, and maintain quite a, quite a, an average sort of surface, a, 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 a sort of surface that we'd expect. But as soon as it dries out, uh, we try and leave off uh, any deep work and what we do is then is chain how and roll it. Mm. Chain how and roll it in between each race mm. and we chain how and roll it in preparation to the race, yeah. for the racing. And so how often do you have to water it in the summer? In the summer we, we generally, if, if there's no rain at all and it has started to dry out, we, we water it before racing. Um, I mean we, we usually start at sort of 8 o'clock in the morning and start a, uh, tankering water on mm. and then we, we, we uh, tank of water on in between each race um, in b just before the Harrison rolls go out in between each race. Mm. And you said that, that over the winter when you're working it a lot it tends to push the sand around the track a bit and leave areas which are a little bit slower. Can you just expand a little on that? Well, when, when we're working it through the night the, 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 the fibre sand will always have, a, have a, a tendency to migrate to the inside and it, especially on the bends. So, so what, it becomes a bit deeper on the inside? On the inside, right on the rail, it, it just becomes that little bit deeper. Mm. And uh, the jockeys, again, are generally pretty cute to that and will, will stand a yard or so off, the r race a yard or so off the rail when they know we've been working it through the night. Mm. So, but it's something for people to bear in mind when they're, when they're, when they're when watching they're the horses. The courses, yeah. And what about the five furlong? Because obviously it's the only track in the country on the all-weather that has a straight five furlong. Um, do you think there's any sort of advantage across the track or is it fairly even across the track? I, uh, it should be re, uh, should be even across the track, but if if you notice on the on the on the round course, depends again on where the, where what point in the card the five furlong race is. But the round course, the full width, the the only time really that the, the full width of the round course gets, oh, sorry, the five furlong straight gets um, rolled, is prior to the five to the five furlong sprint. Right. The the the, the rolls don't get the outside few yards of the um, uh, straight, home straight, if they've been, if we've been racing on the round mm. before that, before a five furlong sprint. Right, so it tends to be a little bit quicker inside on uh, the inside rail again, the, or I just think there's a little a, off the inside rail. The, there's a supposition that the, the, the inside half of that, of that straight is, is quicker. Mm. Uh, uh, it's an assumption rather than a guaranteed fact, I think, because I've seen horses come down the stands rail and win. It just depends how good the horse is on the stands rail after all said and done, that's my, my opinion.